My mom is saying that she was taken on the back of a motorbike and that while she was do being taken, she was hit by uh, sticks. When they arrived, they arrived into a large uh, hall in which about 25 hostages were gathered. They were very friendly towards them and that they took care of them, that they were given the medicine. The woman on the right, 85-year-old Yoheved Lifshitz, is one of two Israeli hostages released Monday at a press conference just a short time ago detailing her harrowing experience. <laughs> Yeah, really an extraordinary press conference there, Antony. Yoheved Lipschitz, the 85-year-old, facing the world's media at the hospital there where she's being treated just hours after she was released from captivity. Incredible in and of itself, given her advanced age and the fact that she had been held there for more than two weeks. Uh, and she described her ordeal. She said she went through hell, uh, said that she, as you heard in the clip, was captured from her kibbutz, from her community, that they hit her with sticks, forced her on a motorcycle, and then drove her out of town into Gaza. Uh, she says that once they arrived there, they went underground into a network, a vast network of tunnels that she likened to a spider's web. Uh, she says that she and four other hostages were then separated from the rest of the group. She was also separated from her 83-year-old husband. Uh, she says they slept on mattresses on the ground, that they ate cucumber and cheese. But she says once they were in captivity, they were treated relatively well, that they were seen by doctors and paramedics, that one of the other prisoners had suffered a significant in injury during the motorcycle crash during that escape, but that they received regular medical treatment. She says that they were treated reasonably well. One of her captors, uh, she says, told her that they were going to treat her well because they, quote, believe in the Quran. Uh, quite an incredible statement from a member of a group that that same day had murdered more than 1,400 Israelis, including civilians and children. We're hearing reports this morning in the Israeli press that Hamas is offering to release 50 prisoners, 50 of its hostages, if Israel were to agree to allow in more humanitarian aid into Gaza and crucially to allow in supplies of fuel. Gaza is expected to run out of its fuel supplies within hours, but at this point the Israeli government holding firm in its position that it will not allow any fuel in until Hamas agrees to release all 220 of the hostages, 220 or so, that are being held in Gaza right now, Antony.